Hey guys, pretty excited. I've, uh, well, first of all, you know who it is. It's Brad, Yamaha Marine Center, <clears throat> 1515 Wells Road in Orange Park, right off of 295. There's the interstate. See the truck? It's going by. <clears throat> we share a parking lot with our BMW Ducati store, but not for long. Because if you get our newsletters, which you don't, if you don't uh, sign up, uh, go to email me or something and we'll get you signed up. Because we're going to put a new building up right over there where it's all grassy with the trees. So we should get that going soon. But more importantly, we actually have boats. I was just trying the uh, YouTube shorts thing earlier, so hopefully I'm doing it right. You know, with these TikTokers and whatnot. Uh, can't keep up with them. But got a Key West regulator. We just got this trade-in Pursuit. We have this pre-owned Regulator 26XO, Pursuit DC 266, brand new for 2022 S288, used 2021 DC 266, uh, Pursuit DC 246, which this boat will be in the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show uh, end of October, and then it'll be available for sale shortly after that. And then a 2022 Regulator 31 with twin XTO 425s on it. But my favorite boat that I'm going to show you right now is the trade-in Offshore 325 very versatile boat uh, very fishable and um, very family friendly so the gentleman that purchased it bought it from me brand new about a year and a half ago uh, which is important actually it's only been about a year and then he traded down because uh, they bought a house on the water so we went down to a regular 26 xo bay boat to keep behind the house they used to use this like a condo so you can see it's on a trailer which unfortunately we're not offering the trailer for sale um, we're going to keep it here for the dealership because it is super overbuilt and a uh, great trailer so we're going to use it here so sorry if you want it money talks let me know anyway 2019 uh, bought it a little over a year ago so we still have component warranty almost a year left on component warranty so everything on the boat is covered for about another year uh, i mean even the stainless steel if it's you know starts rusting and all that good stuff so we'll take care of you on that uh, engines i believe are all the way out until 2026 25 or 26 um email me or call me uh brad at ymcjx.com and i can give you the details i don't remember off the top of my head because i'm not the smartest guy anyway boat is oh 34 feet six inches total total overall length all the way back to the motors uh, even though they call it a 325 engines motors critique me on that one uh 10 feet 10 inches on the beam which is true i've measured it several times just to see if we can fit this guy in a lift and it's spot on 10 10 at the widest part and it maintains the the width like all the way from the front of the boat to the back so it gives you a bunch of cockpit space which we'll see when we hop up in the boat and sorry if i'm talking fast but this is going to be a little bit longer video and i don't want it to be uh weight is 12,430 pounds uh, dead rise is 20 degrees at the back, but you can see the entry at the front. Not quite as steep as some of their other offshore product, but it's because they maintain the width all the way through the boat without a ton of flare. Um, I have heard critiques of this boat that in like a uh, beam C, quartering C, if you got a weird wind, just the way the hull is shaped, if you're at idle, that you'll actually get a little bit of you know spray coming up uh, on the windshield. But it's a good thing that the bridge deck is fully enclosed with windshield wipers, so you don't have to worry about that. And you got the AC turned on, so all that good stuff you got going for you. Uh, draft, 22 inches, and that should be engines up. Engines down is going to be in the 33, 34 range probably. Uh, fuel capacity is 300 gallons, which is twin 150-gallon tanks. 16-gallon diesel tank, which feeds the Fisher Panda, 4.2 kilowatt. Uh, da, 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 ba, multiple bilge pumps. Bridge clearance is nine feet, two inches in the water, 24 gallon live well, 18 gallon head capacity, and cruise is around 30 miles an hour. Top end is about 47 at wide open throttle. So it gives you a usable cruise range of about 339 miles with a 30 gallon freshwater tank. All right, so again, through stem windlass, which is nice. Um, again, the articulating anchor sucks up in there, so we probably gotta tighten that windlass a little bit and pulled in there little bit of bootstrap damage from the boat being trailered but nothing that we couldn't take care of uh and then looking down again to the entry of the boat uh strikes aren't quite as aggressive as some of the other product but the boat seems to plane off really well i think is the forward weight bias of it so when we walk by the cabin um i'll kind of you know show you how it looks and then the reverse trying again isn't quite as aggressive of an angle as some of their other boats it's a little flatter which might contribute to that little bit of uh, water coming across but you do have some real daylight 
uh, windows on the side of the boat so it's letting natural light inside the boat and again you can see how far forward bias that cabin is you don't have a ton of deck space up front you do have that nice big bow rail though which does not obstruct your vision at all and it's really nice for walking on the front of the boat if you're in a heavy sea uh doo -doo -doo -doo. rocket launchers on the side coming back to the back of the boat we got a little bit of scarring on the rubber rail here but that's what rubber rails are for so it's not in the gel coat uh then we have our uh six step garlic ladder retracted inside twin yamaha 300s like I said, about 220 hours on him. The guy that owned the boat previously does own his own uh, repair shop. He is a Suzuki dealer, but he is very familiar with Yamahas as he does do repairs and maintenance on those. The engines were very well taken care of. Uh, you can see all the zincs are in really good shape since it's been trailer kept most of the time or in dry stack, depending on where you were staying. Um, and then you got underwater lights. The uh, Lumitech C Blaze Quattro full spectrum, and then one of the other additions that he did are these uh, Bob's Machine Shop setback plates. So we got uh, from that posted 22 inches of draft, even engines down. I think you know we're in the 33, 34 range. He said he picked up about an inch or two um, in draft because of the the setbacks, and then he was able to add this uh, enclosure back here starboard enclosure so we had that custom made so you can really you know strap a uh, cooler down back here or you can use the whole uh, transom extension as like a big dive platform or a place for the kids to play all that good stuff and then he also installed the um, aft uh, rocket launcher on the back of the boat there powder coated to match the rest of the boat uh, big trim tabs oh let's walk up on the swim platform here so you can really get a good look how wide it is i mean <clears throat> You know, put a cooler on one side, still use the other side for diving and everything. Get to uh, your shore power, your city water, um, all that stuff a lot easier over here. And then he also installed the sea deck uh, on not the entire T of the boat, but just the gunnel caps because he had some younger kids that were uh, tending to jump off of things and slip and fall because there's no non-skid up there. Box here, your batteries are down below. And then this is our live well, I think what, 28 gallons from what I said. Nice painted blue, round edges, keep the bait alive, keep them calm. And then this aft seat pops up and you can see the backrest raises up to hit you nice and high, just below the shoulders. And then this is also optioned with the port seat. So you have a nice big lounger back here for entertainment. Again, this boat fishes really well. Um, you know, trolling, bottom fishing, and entertainment, so it's kind of a do-everything boat. Uh, fish box space is more than adequate. I mean, the depth of these is pretty impressive. And then they are not macerated, but they do have diaphragm pumps, so if it'll fit through the hole, it'll suck it out of the boat, and you don't have to worry about weights and hooks and stuff like that. Uh, all of these are lockable, in case you want to store some gold or square grouper in there. And then down in the bilge, uh, you have table leg storage for the cockpit table and then this is the generator cover and the aft cockpit cover which you can see we haven't installed yet because we got to clean the boat and then we'll put it on when it's nice and clean sorry about it being dirty those are the raycore filters uh, so you can see if there's any water intrusion in the bottom and then actually drain them uh, until you get the water out of the tank uh, macerator pump jenny exhaust for the jenny steering pump power steering autopilot through holes everything's pretty easy to get to i mean with the exception of maybe the strainer on the generator is kind of tucked back in there so hopefully you never have an issue with that uh fuel tank access is under these pie plates and this is another thing i like to point out about pursuit is they do a good job of hiding all this unsightly stuff where on some of our competition you might see it on the deck you see more finished boxes and hatches on these and then we have a little entertainment center here which shore power cord little drawer 12 volt outlet for your blenders and stuff that's your grill control for the Kenyan grill and then cutting board sink everything you need for your wine and cheese party or your filet and release and then we got a little cooler under here we can add a chill plate to that as well and then the compressor fits underneath here and then the chill plate sits on the side of the seat uh, speakers everywhere subwoofer jail audio and then this is your sure shade so the stainless piece is the uh, aft shade that comes out so it has that option on it as well a uh, boat does not have radar or fleer or anything but it does have that sunshade um, you have some more tackle storage here which you can see you never use the tackle boxes and then i think the lure tubes 
car around here somewhere. I don't know. If not, I'll give you some. Come on, need both hands. MDP panel. You can see. Port, port and starboard engines. House battery. All your breakers. Bow thruster. Everything works. Well maintained. A little bit more seat deck up here. Uh, your L lounger, half facing seat, forward facing seats, uh, table stows underneath here quite nicely. And then the small table pole that goes in here. The same table we did, we share between the bridge deck and the cockpit. He didn't order separate ones, so it is the same table. Uh, captain's chair, fully adjustable, uh, forward and back, left and right. Uh, Garmin VHF 315. Um, this C deck is on here because the chair does hit. Uh, the wall right here if you're turned a certain way and then he actually relocated the mic mount from up here to down here so there are going to be a couple of screw holes back here but again you don't like the c-deck uh it does come off and we can fix those holes twin garmin 8612 xsvs single xsv 8612 redundant uh so you only have two sonar inputs and then the yamaha cl7 so you have another sonar input on that one and then the jl mm100 all your regular switching, bow thruster, digital electronic controls, tilt hydraulic steering with power assist, and then you have your platform that uh, folds down so you can get a better view. Not that the view's bad on this because of the chemically treated windshield. So it's a laminated glass. So if you're looking through this with polarized lenses, um, it's optically correct. So this is one of the things I love about this boat is they have the full enclosure from the windshield to the hard top and then this big fiberglass frame with these big side windows. So your visibility is phenomenal, especially compared to some of our competitors that look more like a fishbowl. Um, so, you know, not to name any names, <coughs> but this is a pretty setup, very contemporary. You got your Bomar vents and then coming down into the cabin. Um, not a huge fan of the sea deck inside on the, the wood. Uh, I forget what this is. I always, people make fun of me calling the wood the wrong stuff so I'm just gonna call it wood it's a uh, uh, mahogany some sort of mahogany but uh, he did this because these steps can get a little bit slippery then the, the non-skid that they build into it from the factory is pretty light uh, so again having the kids they just wanted something a little bit more comfortable going down the stairs so you don't slip coming into the Corian countertop sink um, single burner microwave Pretty good storage on the boat. You know, they did a good job of fitting the cabinets in there. Again, all real wood veneers. So you have to worry about this stuff swelling, um, you know, getting moisture on it or anything like that in case one of these port holes ever does start to leak. Uh, it's all natural wood, can be clean, can be fixed. Uh, coming back into midship berth, uh, pretty good berth for kids or small people like me. And then this is actually the bow cushion as well. So he has the bow cushion package and handrails up front. Uh, you have some rod storage that flips down. So you can store a couple of rods in here. It's kind of nice. Like I said, well thought out boat. The engineers do a phenomenal job. And then you have some strainers and stuff underneath the bed for your AC, uh, freshwater tank, um, your battery chargers and amplifier for the stereo are back in this cabinet. And then this is the closet uh, coming into the head. Again, natural wood. It is a wet head. There is a shower curtain that we don't have hung up. It's inside but the uh, sink handle pulls out and that's how you shower. But we have some AC vents in here. You do have a separate uh, cabin AC from your bridge deck AC. So your bridge deck AC is housed underneath that seat there where you see the return. And then we have another one tucked in here. Uh, table does go down electrically. Turn on some lights here for us. Uh, and then you have to manually pull the bed in i believe on this model if i could find the switch somewhere yeah it's just the electric table here pretty quiet pretty fast but then you just pull the cushions in on one another and it makes about a queen size sleeper uh, again escape natural light natural light over there but uh it, pretty good deal uh currently we're asking uh 348 for this boat Again, low hours, 220 hours, 340 on the generator. Um, you know, brand new. This boat is in the mid fours right now as far as MSRP is concerned. Uh, if you have any questions on this boat or anything else on the lot right now, please give me a call. It's Brad, 904-644-7631. Barton is here as well. He can help you out. Or you can always uh, email me, brad at ymcjax.com. Or 
just the website Yamaha Marine Jacks dot com or ymcjx.com however just call me thanks guys